I thought this would be easier since there's so many people that are asking and responding to yesterday's or last night's event. Um, I was at the concert. We had gotten there at 4 o'clock. I was with my friend Paul and we had a friend that had been a musician so we'd been back and forth from the VIP lounge and up front and we it had been 30 minutes before the shooting that we had uh, been on stage and um, I had seen one of my friends in the crowd and everybody was so happy and we were having amazing time everybody just like was into the music into the concert into like people were just happy and um we ended up walking down from backstage and sat in the second table in the middle in the back um backstage and uh paul had gotten some some appetizers for us to munch on and a lot of people had been back there just talking um most people were uh band members and uh family members and um all of a sudden like we were in the middle of eating some food and there was a pop and i look at paul and i said what was that? I look up and there's there's no sparks, there's no fireworks, and um, then there was. He he told me he's like, oh, it's just a black cat or a, or a firework, and I just I didn't believe him. And then a couple of seconds later, there was pop pop pop, and I look up and I'm thinking that it could be possible the electrical, um, and the the power pole and nothing was occurring and everybody was looking around and not even a few seconds after that it was pop 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 and i thought i literally thought something was blowing up i had no no recollection that it was going to be gun gunfire shots um it, luckily one of the staff members had run around from the stage to the back and said this is not a drill. Get out. Um, get low. Get out. And we ran. We ran. And bullets were coming past us. One hit through my hair on the right. And um, we uh, we get to a, a tour bus that was uh, faced at an angle. And our backs were uh, to the tour bus. And we were facing the stage on the so if you're looking at the stage, it's on the right side. We were huddled together, holding hands and balls as close as we can to the tour bus as we heard shots, multiple shots. And they got louder and louder. And there were some people that were hit on the left side of us. And uh, we were giving them our belts, our handkerchiefs, anything that can like help with the bleeding um stop the bleeding and uh the shooting went on for like 10 minutes and we had just we all we could do is just pray that the shots would just stop we didn't know if we were in a war zone and people were shooting over us or if um there was people out in the crowd shooting and they were about ready to come over that stage and shoot all of us um but they just started getting louder louder and louder and all we knew is 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 we just got to stay low and just wait for it to be over with um finally the shots slowed down and uh it became quiet. They told us, they told us to run. And, uh, we ran to, we ran to the, the back away from the strip, um, where there was, there was an area where there was more tour, tour buses, which 
my friend, uh, friend that was in the band had a bus and we all jumped on there and laid on the ground until we could get more news. Um, so we were just sitting there while I'm messaging my family just saying I love you because I had no clue. I had no clue if I was going to be alive or not because with the amount of shots that were were heard and the people that were lying on the ground, especially when we ran, um, one of the guys had stopped to help help somebody and he uh he got a bullet that uh slightly hit his arm and um we just we couldn't believe it we and all we heard was there was other things going on at other casinos and uh, so we 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 just stayed there and messaged our our family and friends and held tight and about an hour hour and a half it finally led up, and we had the choice of staying there or the choice to just run. Run and get to a bunker, um, which was at a hangar. And we decided we were going to run. So we ran a block and a half, jumping to car to car and hiding behind a fence just for for precaution. Um, and we finally made it to the hangar where... There was 70, 80 other people that had similar situations as us. Luckily, from what we saw there, there was not too many that were injured. But um, we hung out there until the bus came and they transported us to the, the Thomas and Mack Center, um, which we packed a bus full of like 100 people um, and they dropped us off. And from there, we were able to have friends that were able to transport us um, home. So by the time I got home was about four o'clock. But it is such a, a tragedy because in that moment that you hear those shots and it, catch, it catches you off guard like, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. I'm I'm here right now. I'm I'm not I'm not at home, and that's what all you really want to be is is home, <laughs> where there's there's protection. We had no we had no way of defending ourselves, and this this guy literally just sh shot over us. He was. He was right above us on the 32nd floor, I believe, of the Mandalay uh, Bay. And it's so disgusting because he literally had been watching us the whole time. And the shots that we heard when it was pop, 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 was like as if he was going line by line by line of people. And he started in the front of the stage. And it was just... Absolutely, absolutely horrific. Horrific. And I never, never want anybody to go through an experience like that. And um, I decided to post this because it just needs to be said. And I can't get everything into, into writing. So just please, please pray for the families that have lost somebody during this event. And please pray for the, the people that are injured because it's, it's a pure tragedy that shouldn't have happened. And I would have never believed that I would have been a part of it. So I only hope, again, just please donate blood. Please pray. And uh, please think of the people innocent people that were affected. Thank you.